Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 21st, 2023. Welcome to Shredding Lavelle Tarot. Hi, my name is Caleb. If you are new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you're returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? Aries. If you guys want to see me on the verge of a mental breakdown, just look at the video that I posted yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily the verge of a mental breakdown, but that is um, at the brink of, exhaust, of exhaustion and also just not sure what's the best way I can say this. That's also having people in my energy that I'm just not sure about. However, I do know that I'm being guided to keep moving forward here. So that's what I'm doing. All right. That's why I went ahead and did the readings for last night. And I'm very thankful. Thank you, God, that I did because... I got like six new subscribers last night and my channel is relatively new and that is um really awesome for me so i'm very thankful thank you guys very much thank you for the new subscribers thank you for the comments that i've received i'm about to reply to those today 111 on the clock okay i'm about to reply to those today um so if you're watching this if you're a cross watcher and you have aquarius or capricorn in your chart be sure to check out the videos from yesterday and if you'd like to see me acting a lot different than I usually am on camera, go ahead and see the Aries video from yesterday. I think that video got one like, which I am very appreciative of. Whoever liked the video that is an Aries video from yesterday, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I was going through a really hard day. It was the first day going back to work in a long time at a new job. And I was doing orientation, had to sit in front of a computer all day. And if anybody out here that is watching this actually knows me, they know that it's hard for me to sit still anyways. And oh my God sitting in front of a computer for eight hours was very challenging for me to do. Let's go ahead and get right into your reading here, Aries. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Spirit, God, God, angels, ancestors. Please show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Aries, if you haven't done it yet, hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And please leave a comment in the comment section. I do reply to all my comments, okay? The people that commented yesterday are like, what the fuck? No, you don't. You ain't replied yet. <laughs> I'm going to reply to the comments that I got yesterday today, but as I said, I was just very tired. That's why I didn't get around to it yesterday. So, be looking forward to that. People who comment on my videos, you're going to see. I'm, I'm going to reply today. I got y'all. Okay. All right. Let's see what Spirit got to say to y'all. Let's get a past, present, future read for the Aries today. One, two, three, four. There we go. Jump right in here. We got the King of Wands in the reversal. Okay. We have the Strength card in the present, and we have the Six of Cups in the future. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now, this King of Wands in the reversal in the past it does worry me a little bit here. I um, wonder what this is referring to. This could be you or someone else in your energy. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. But um, it seems like this is kind of someone else that's in your energy here uh, that you were dealing with. Or take the roles as they resonate. Just keep in mind here, Aries, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you come across this reading. Whenever you do come across it, and your energy is whenever it is meant for you. Also, just keep in mind that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, okay? So this message will not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that do resonate with you. Be the leader of your own discernment, okay? And leave the parts that do not resonate with you for someone else, okay? So let's see. It says, Tyrant Rude. For those of y'all that don't know, I do use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I do already know what the King of Wands is in the upright, okay? And I also know what it is in the reversal. I just like to read it for the people so that way they can understand. Now, my energy pulling the cards means that this is meant for you. Someone out here watching this, okay? So whenever the cards come out, they are meant for someone, okay? I don't know what all of the cards mean yet. I do know what most of them mean. I definitely know what the King of Wands is, okay? Especially in the upright, that is... Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in a very powerful position, okay? However, in the reversal, it shows that you're dealing with someone here in your energy. It's not very good for you, okay? It says tyrant, rude, bully, domineering boss, violent criminal, self-obsessed, megalomaniac, basically a real jerk. Could also represent a glory-seeking a glory seeking posure masquerading as a positive side of this card. Could also indicate misfortune to an otherwise good man, all right? Clarify this King of Wands in the reverse for Aries in the past year. Okay, clarify this King of Wands for Aries in the past year. There we go. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands in the reversal. We have the Five of Cups, and we have the Sun card in the reversal, okay? 
So the Ten of Wands represents, sorry, I have a hair or something on my nose. The Ten of Wands represents, um, be careful what you wish for because you might get what you want, okay? <laughs> it's not like you want, you might get what you want, it's saying that you will get what you want. That's in the upright. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands in the reversal, okay? And the reversal, I'm assuming this means that you worked towards something or were working hard for something and ended up it not working out the way you wanted it to. Um, release of burdens or responsibilities, a weight being lifted off of your shoulders, perhaps shirking responsibilities. Okay, so you guys in the past here, and I do believe this is you, Aries, or someone else around you. If, it, if this person is this king of wands, they saw you as a burden, okay? They saw you as someone in, in your energy uh, that basically um, was just weighing them down, okay? And so this person decided to release you or this job decided to release you from their energy, okay? In order for, and okay, yeah, yeah, this is starting to come together as a picture for me now, okay? So this person in your energy here, they were like basically a tyrant, rude bully, okay? They were kind of like a bully in your energy. They kind of, maybe they picked on you or they just, maybe if they didn't pick on you to your face, they talk shit about you behind your back, okay? And they decided to release you. This could be a person, like a, a job, a person in your energy, a family member, um, kick you out or something like this, okay? And, and it's like they felt like a weight was lifted off their shoulders here, okay? Shirking responsibilities. It was like kind of their responsibility to, or at least, yeah, their responsibility as, especially if this was a relationship, this was someone that it was like their responsibility to be there for you. You could have had like a more than just an average relationship with this person. You could have had like a, like a step farther, like maybe instead of like boyfriend, girlfriend, this person could have been your fiance or maybe you were married to this person. Okay. It's showing me here that it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but after they let you go out of their energy, they were upset about this. Okay. They were looking at the, um, because you have the Five of Cups. Okay, the Five of Cups in the upright. Um, you basically have someone that is looking at the missed opportunities, okay? And they're not turning around and seeing the new opportunities that are there for them, okay? But they are looking at it and they're upset about the missed opportunities. See those three cups that are overturned right there? They're looking at it and they're like, man, I'm so sad about that. It says sacrifice. This is a card of loss and mourning. The loss itself is usually a very real and tangible thing. Could be you, Aries, that this person lost because they decided to let go of you or you decided to let go of them, take the roles as they resonate, okay? And feel free to reverse the roles as needed. The subject of this card is hope, but respect the loss before dismissing it altogether. It is quite possible that your client feeling strongly about their loss, okay? In time, the loss will be left behind and the mess will be clean. Perhaps that is now, that time is now. Proceed gently, okay, yeah. The sun card, you have it in the reversal here. The Sun card upright is a very good card, okay? I will state that. And the reversal is not necessarily a bad card. I don't really see anything as, in tarot as being bad, okay? It's just a story. It's just like a storyline for something that happened to someone, especially someone watching this video, okay? It says closing off from help, depression, paralyzing fear, lack of support, so this was either you or the person that you were dealing with here in the past okay uh the person that you were dealing with here in the past closing off from help after this person let you go they decided to close off from help and they were depressed and they had fear and they felt like they had a lack of support system okay for this situation that happened or you did okay you were closing off from help and were depressed because this person decided to let you go you had a lot of fear and you felt like you had a lack of support like your whole support system was just gone i mean that's gonna be significant for someone here, okay? This is in the past. Let's go ahead and look at the present. In the present, we have the strength card, okay? Strength card, strength card, strength card, strength card. <laughs> the strength card represents patience or it needs, it's a need for patience, okay? So the uh, spirit is asking me to tell you to be patient here in the, in the present, okay? Because something about the present here is making you feel impatient and feel just like, I don't know, you just want to jump the gun on something here, but you're, you're being asked to, to have patience. Okay. Now it's not specifically what the world, uh, the strength card means, but that is a very good signicator, signicator of the strength card. It is something that you need to be patient about here in your, uh, energy at this present time. Okay. Perseverance. It doesn't mean wait. It means use a gentle hand. You don't snap it at. You don't snap a lion's jaw shut. You keep applying pressure until, like any other cat, he gets tired of fighting you and tries it your way for a moment. 
The trick is not closing a cat's mouth, it is keeping the cat from squirming and clawing you to shreds while you are doing this, and that is what the strength card is all about. So yeah, perseverance, patience. I mean, the, the word specifically is patience that I get from this card, but it is also asking you to persevere through something, okay? Take your time, stay with this, do not give up, not now, not ever. Surrender is defeat. When you see this card, it is a warning, an omen, a command of patient application of inner strength. But always remember that strength does not mean stupidity. If you are in a bad relationship and the strength card shows up in, the, in a card position of advice, this card is not telling you to grin and bear it. It is telling you to draw on your inner strength. Draw from the source, from friends, from your deity, <laughs> from your inner desires, etc. And take whatever actions that are indicated by the other cards. Do so from a position of strength, even if that means running away. Sometimes it takes more courage to leave than it does to stay in a bad situation. There is the devil you know versus the devil you don't. If this card shows up as a character quality in a person, it is a good indicator that you can rely on that person and a job that leads to stability and tenure and the ability to make decisions with enough autonomy to be truly effective in that job rather than just another corporate placeholder in line. In almost every case, the current is the woman and not the lion, okay? So yeah, you guys need to be strong and you need to be patient here, okay? You also need to persevere through whatever it is that you're going through and whatever challenges that are being bestowed upon you here, okay? One, two, three, four. Clarify the strength card. We have the three of pentacles. Okay, you need to stay, um, you need to stay patient and persevere through something with the job that you are doing, okay? It is telling you, it is saying here now, like to me, all right, what, what I'm getting from this card, because you have the three of pentacles in the upright, it is showing me that you have a skill or a certain skill set that other people don't necessarily have, or if they do have this skill set, they don't have it in the quite unique way that you do, and you know how, you know how to bring a unique, um, you know how to bring a unique image to something, okay? You know how to bring a unique, um, what's the word? Path, image, path. Something about this is specific for the path that you are supposed to be on, okay? Um, you have a unique way of bringing this to the table that other people don't necessarily have, okay? And I wouldn't say that they don't have it like they don't, just don't have it. It's not that. It's just that they don't have it in the same way that you do. You know how to do things that other people don't know, necessarily know how to do, okay, in this way. Um, the card, the Three of Pentacles is a card of um, mastering your craft or master craft. Um, something like this, mastering, like really good at the job that you do. This card of the master, whether that is a master artist, swordsman, magnet, stone cutter, or any other occupation, this card shows great skill and achievement. Compare this to the Eight of Coins, which shows us the apprentice. This may indicate the master himself, his masterpiece work, his studio, or even a visit from clients. Similarly, it can represent artistic criticism or a critique of one's work, an employee evaluation, quality assessment, even a promotion or a raise. All of these possibilities are positive in nature. Look to the surrounding cards and the nature of the question to determine exactly what is at play here. This card can occasionally indicate unexpected assistance once you have earned, earned your sweat equity. So, definitely something about your work here that they're, ta they're asking you to be patient with and also persevere through and keep doing it. Just stick with it, okay? So, it's something that is going to pay off for you in the future here if you do stick with it. You're probably about to get a promotion or a raise or you just got a promotion or a raise, okay? Uh, and if you haven't yet, something here is going to pay off for you if you do stick with this job, okay? We have, uh, or occupation, or something that you do for money, okay? We have the Six of Wands, and it is in the reversal, okay? Now, in the upright, I just want to, I would like to look this one up. Six of Wands. Like I said, uh, in the video that I posted yesterday, I said specifically, I was like, I don't know these cards as good as I say I do, but I was just joking, okay? <laughs> like... The cards that I do know, I know them like the back of my head. Like, I, like I'm, I'm still learning here. So the cards that I don't know, I will be honest with you and tell you that off the top of my head, I don't know. I could use my intuition and try to get something from this card, but the specific meaning that the card brings, I will, I do not know. Okay, but um, yeah, like the back of my hand, the cards that I do know, I know like that Three of Pentacles right there that I just told you, I know that card. Okay, also this Six of Cups here in the future, this is the card. No um, fierce battles are fought this day. Someone's either going to give you a gift or you're going to give a gift to someone. Okay, that's for the future. I'll come back to that one. But still, like the cards that I do know, I promise you, I do know them. The cards that I don't know, I'll be honest with you and tell you. I need to look it up. All right, it says, oh, all this work, and does anyone notice at all? Sometimes you work, 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 and work, and of course, someone else steals your thunder, your credit, or kisses up to the powers to powers that be to make it look like they are the noble hero to hero du jour. Time to buy yourself a cheap voodoo candle or just grin and bear it. Occasionally, this card may indicate outright defeat, 
verify this before proceeding. Yeah, this is the six of wands in the reversal. So the reason maybe that you're having any issues with your job here is because you're having uh, issues with other people stealing your ideas or someone trying to steal your work. Like not like your work. They're trying to like see that you do the work and then they're coming trying to take the credit for it. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone like that here. Okay. And it's like, you're also wondering if anyone notices the work that you put in at all. You're like, oh my God, like this is something that I do. I work hard, I show up early, you know, I do this, I'm back every single day <laughs> doing this shit. And it's like, does anybody even fucking notice? Like, that's how you feel. Or it could be how you're feeling here in the present or we're feeling this way here recently. Um, I know specifically that is how I was feeling. I went like maybe, I guess three or four days on my YouTube channel here and I didn't get any uh, subscribers and then I finally got one after like three days I was like oh thank god man I was about to just give up on this shit um, but I wasn't really it's just how I was feeling about it and then thankfully after last night I got like six six new subscribers I was so happy about that thank you again very much to the new subscribers the new comments um, the people reaching out to me it really means a lot to me I can't tell you how much okay all right this temperance card and the upright um, is telling you to work with someone you need to work together with someone or try to work together with someone it says teamwork works none of us are as, is as smart as all of us properly blended energies make magic cookies okay success is a recipe failure comes from any number of deviations in that recipe too much salt not enough baking time draw together your resources and use them to your success do all of the above until exhausted and then rest start again when you are refreshed if time is short split your team into separate groups so that activity is ongoing but no one is overtaxed Note this card blends two major meanings into one overarching message. Do correctly, okay? Also, another thing that I always get from the temperance card is to make sure you try and have your emotions under control, okay? Especially your anger. You need to temper your emotions. I always get this from the temperance card intuitively. Every single time I see it. You see how this person's like <laughs> pouring from one cup into the other here, okay? And I think it's very interesting how this this temperance card, the person in this card, it, it says, it's showing here uh, teamwork, saying teamwork works. None of us is smart as all of us, but at the same time, this person is sitting here by themselves, okay? This person doesn't have anyone else in the card, okay? So it, it could indicate here what I'm getting is even if you're a person that usually does things by themselves, and this person is, is showing me as someone that does things by themselves, it seems here that some kind of opportunity is gonna come to you here in the present or sometime in the next day or so, um, where you're gonna be around people that you can work with or have the opportunity to ask for help to come together in some kind of way with people, okay? So I would take advantage of the opportunity whenever it does present itself, okay? In the future, we have the Six of Cups. Like I said, no fierce battles are, bought, are fought this day. It is also the only uh, card that shows children at all, really. I mean, the sun card also shows a, like a baby on a horse, but also, this is the sun card, we have that as well. Okay, that was the past and the reversal. Okay, but um, this card is a very good card. Um, it does represent water, so Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, it doesn't have to be. You also have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here uh, as that three of pentacles, and then you have the wands, which is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? I will read it for you, okay? Much has been written about this card by various writers, and most of it is contradictory. The meaning of this card is the simple act of giving. This is one of the very few tarot cards that illustrate children at all here. There are visible stylus used to illustrate or emphasize the natural innocence of the act of giving without expectation, machination, or hidden inference. This is a card of simple kindness that is all too rare in this world. No fierce battles are fought this day. No glories are won or honors bestowed. Expect a gift from a friend, or perhaps you will be the giver of gifts. This card can also mean a reunion with old friends, okay? Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries in the future, please. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. The uh, Ten, no, Nine of Wands reversed. Do we have another Nine in here? We have the Ten. And we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. I feel like I need to sneeze really bad. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. All work and no play leads to a life of work and possibly wealth and power, but to what end? So this get, this is telling you here or stating that you might need to get out and break away from your work just a little bit. Now, like I said, it's not telling you to stop doing your work. It's not telling you to quit your job, okay? <laughs> it's telling you to go somewhere, get out there a little bit, okay? Spend some time with some friends in order to um, maybe for this opportunity to come in. Um, or, or maybe it's stating that 
you're working too much here and you're on the, the brink of burnout, okay? So you might need to watch out here because I know for a fact that I was like right there yesterday. That's why I'm taking today off doing something other than my challenge and then re coming to my challenge tomorrow. Now that's not a pattern that I would like to get into and stay there, okay? But I do realize whenever I'm on the brink of burnout and I need to focus on myself. All right, weakness of character, shifty and shifting alliances, someone who tries to evade responsibility or even uh, deserts outright, fear of standing up for what is most important to yourself and your needs, escape, escapism. So you could be dealing with another uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this could be you, um, but I'm getting that this is not you. I feel like this is uh, another fire sign or an earth sign in your energy here because you have very strong earth. You have three earth cards, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Um, but this could be you. Take the take the roles as it where uh, take the roles as they resonate, and feel free to uh, switch them as as needed. Okay, someone who tries to evade responsibility or even deserts it outright, fear of standing up for what is most important to yourself and your needs, escapism. Okay, and then we have the four of coins, or pentacles as I like to call it. That is what it's called, and the book it calls it coins. <laughs> okay. Tight-fisted boss or landlord, someone who publicly wears excessive amounts of gold or other status and wealth indicators to imitate, intimidate and impress others, obsessively greedy people, corporate feudal lords, and their political cronies, dictators. Yeah, I want to pull one more card to clarify this. I want to see who this person is. Okay, I think I know who this person is, but at the same time, you could very well be dealing with someone like this, family, friends, co-workers, bosses, something like this, okay? do, 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 do. All right, Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, this person sees you as someone that is um, just kind of like a teenage mentality. Uh, like they're like, yeah, they don't even really know. They don't have any idea. Okay, someone out here like this. This card is rallying, swift, sudden movement, decisive action, high adventures, sudden movement again, especially road trips, impromptu vacations, hyperactivity, active danger seeking young men, the hunt. Occasionally, this card pairs with the Six of Swords and the chariot to, indicate, chariot to indicate travel or relocation. This card can also be used to signify a young man with red hair and aggressive, impulsive personality, should you wish to do so. So, someone out here is looking at you like you're like this aggressive, impulsive person, okay? Like, you're on the hunt all the time for something. Like, you don't even really know what you want. You're just out here doing things. Show me more, Spirit. Show me Knight of Wands. Who is this person? Who is this person, Knight of Wands? Nine of Pentacles reversed, Four of Coins reversed, Nine, uh, Four of Pentacles reversed. Let me get one more, Four, One, Two, Three, Four. Who is this person? The Empress. Snap. Somebody could be pregnant here or someone that, yeah, someone could be pregnant or getting pregnant, okay? Mothers of associated with supporting, or you could be a mother. Um, indicative of mothers of associated with supporting my, minor arcana cards, okay? The concept of the energy and actuality of motherhood rather than any one person at all but rare cases. Identify the person by finding expecting cards or by opening this card up. As a verb, this card indicates applied compassion, caring, and the act of nurturing and caretaking. This could just as easily be nursing along a new business venture with great care and love as it could be the act of taking in a stray. The emphasis here is the sincere care and attention given by the person behind these kind acts. As a quality in a person, it speaks most highly that rare quality of genuine compassion, consideration, grace, beauty. As a situation, it indicates a happy home life, a time of more than peace. Think more renaissance, where arts and luxuries abound as repression ends, creativity, free thought, and the free expression of that thought are allowed to blossom. In every way, this is truly a happy card. It is not a beginning, except in the case of a pregnancy, nor an ending. It is a state of being or a state of affairs for a time, and those are times of ripe with food and uh, emotional and physical security. Show me more. One more card. Yeah, five of wands. This is someone that you, um, this could be a mother or a mother-like energy here, okay? Someone that is, um, or a mother figure in your um, energy here. Someone that you had some kind of squabble with at some point or you, or sometimes you guys just have some kind of like 
um, back and forth type of arguing here, but it is because that you two here, okay, in this is someone that are both trying to um, show your points of view. And it's like you're, it's like I use this example all the time, okay? Like you're looking at this side of the lighter, you're like, it's got an Aries Ram on it. And I'm like, no, that's just a fucking sticker with a barcode on it. Okay, you see what I'm saying here? You're both trying to argue the same point of view, looking at the same thing. However, you're not coming together and you're not seeing uh, each other's side from the other angle here, okay? So it could be a mother or person in your energy that is like this, okay? A mother figure that thinks you're just out here doing reckless things, like not thinking ahead. They think that you're just um, obsessive and impulsive behavior type of person and they don't understand why you do what you do, okay? That is going to be for someone out here. All right, let's go ahead and put these back. Let's see what Big Bubba Mac got to say about this. Big Bubba Mac. Let me get something from you, buddy. Let's see what Big Bubba Mac got to say about this. Clarify the situation, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. Why do you have to go away from home, my love? I have been getting that song in my head for like the past two or three days whenever I'm doing reading. So someone out here is wondering why, Aries, that you had to leave home. They're like, why do you have to go? Someone needs to cleanse their space, okay? One, two, three, four. Dark. Something about dark or dark energy. Anger. Someone's mad, upset at you. Could be mad or upset at you, or you were mad and upset about someone or something here. What is this reverse card here? What is this? I knew one flipped over the other day. Sadness. Somebody's really sad and upset, possibly because you left home or needed to leave home. This person needs to cleanse their space, okay? Or you do, okay? Because they have a negative energy attachment on them. Also, something about their throat chakra or your throat chakra is important here, okay? You need to protect your throat chakra. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I also have clear quartz, okay? If you have stones or if you have like minerals, like this is amethyst, for example. If you have any stones or amethyst, you may need to recharge your crystals. This could be talking to me very well. Something about pictures is important, okay? Someone could be looking at pictures of you or you looking at pictures of someone. And uh, also something about your navel chakra is important here, okay? significant to this situation. Let me get one pop out. Jesus, my nose is itching right now. Let me get a pop out. Let me get a pop out, big bubble bag. The guilt card wanted to pop out, so someone could be feeling guilty, or you're feeling guilty about that situation here. Come on, let me get one pop out, Bubba. <laughs> Someone's like feeling hateful about something here. They're felt like I got proud and hateful. It's like they're proud of you, but also feeling hateful about this situation or something here. Excitement. Someone's excited. Or you're excited about something? Orchid. Someone could own an orchid, okay? Or you have an orchid. There's actually an orchid right here. <laughs> something about an orchid is significant. Let me get one pop out, brother. You don't want to do no pop outs today. I'm going to draw. Something about a headband is significant. Date nights, okay? And also your ancestor or ancestors are watching over you. They are protecting you, okay? Headband, date night, ancestors. Someone could be wearing a headband in your energy here or you're wearing one. Um, date night, you could be going on a date here soon or uh, you have one planned or something about a date night is significant. Also your ancestor or ancestors here, they're watching over you, they're protecting you. They want you to know, okay, that they got your back. 
You could have a Scorpio in your energy or you have Scorpio in your chart here. You also have call or calling. You could be getting a call from a Scorpio or calling them. And we have disgust. Someone is disgusted about your... Um, someone could be disgusted about a relationship that you have with a Scorpio. Someone could be disgusted about uh, what you do. Something here, okay? Again, the sadness card came out. Someone is sad or upset about something here, okay? That is significant. That's going to be all from Big Bubba Mac today, okay? Because he ain't trying to communicate very well. <laughs> he don't want to talk, okay? Let's see what your ancestors would like to say to you today, Aries. Ancestors, spirit guide, God, angels. Please let me get a message for Aries today. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries, please. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They want to pop out. They want to talk. <laughs> Someone needs to listen to their animal instinct, which means listen to your intuition, okay? That's what I get from this card, at least. Also, my left ear just started ringing, so someone really needs to listen to their intuition here, okay? Someone's ignoring it. They're pretending like, no, that's not it. Yes, it is. Listen to your intuition. Let's see what this is. We have tree or balance. Someone needs to balance out their family tree here or balance out they need to balance out their energy with a tree go hug a tree or sit beside a tree or meditate up against the tree i promise you your energy will go into the tree it will like it's kind of like clearing your energy this is one way that you can um, um ground yourself okay that is this is one way that you can ground yourself is sitting up against a tree and meditating or just sitting up against a tree and just close your eyes and chill you ain't even got to meditate okay just sit there all right and uh, it will balance out your energy. What happens is the energy flow from your body goes into the tree. It goes all the way to the top of the tree. It comes back down and goes back into your body. It goes into the tree. It's like that. It's like, what's that thing where they do the blood thing? Uh, transfusion or whatever it is. I can't remember exactly what it is. Where they like get out your blood so they can pump new blood into you. So that way you have clean blood or something like this. That is what meditating up against the tree does for your energy. Okay, it's the same thing. Same process. I also have a fire sign watching this. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you're a very passionate person if you are a fire sign watching this, okay? Uh, 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 uh. Why'd you have to go away from home, my love? Yeah, someone really upset that you left home. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I also have writer or words. You could be a writer or you're someone that does something with words here or you need to. Okay, something is significant about that. One, two, three, four. But this is the card for today. Okay, we have air and we have breath. Okay, see how this person's sitting down in a meditation stance where she's taking a big breath. Okay, aligning her chakras. Yes. If you're a female and you're watching this, doesn't have to be, it could be a male, especially if you're an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you need to do some breath work. For example, you can take a breath in for three and breathe out for five, I mean six. <laughs> breathe in for three, breathe out for six. All right, like that. Do that five times. Do that three times. Do that two times. Do it one time, okay? See if you don't feel a little bit better. Also, you can do uh, breath in for four, breathe out for eight, or breathe in for two, breathe out for four, okay? As long as you are breathing out for longer than you're breathing in, what it does is it allows your body to uh, gain control over your emotions. Now, the reason that it does that is because it shows you that you have control over your breath. So a lot of people get caught up in arguing. They'll be like, oh my God, you did not do that. Okay? Whenever you breathe in and you breathe out in that type of way, it shows you that you have control over your breath, which also shows you that you have control over how fast you speak. And that shows you that you have control over what you say. Okay? All this. This is something that I have to do literally almost every single day. Okay? Especially when walking my doggy. Okay? Because I'm a very impatient person. And I like to go on long walks. And especially when I'm with my dog, it's like I try to pull my anger out and like put it on to somebody else. Like, yeah, it's because of you that I'm angry. That's the way I used to be, especially, okay? Now, I'm at the point where it's like, actually, it's because of me that I'm angry. I'm the one that has to control this emotion, not my dog, okay? So I'll do my breath work. 
So this is what the card means. It says, we come into the world with a breath and we exit the world with a breath. In between, it's estimated that someone who lives to be 80 years old has taken 6,072,000 breaths. It took me a, a minute to get that one. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> the air we breathe reminds us of the perpetual exchange of one type of air with another. Trees and other plants exhale the oxygen required by humans and other species to live, while we humans and other beings exhale the carbon dioxide necessary for plants to live. This delicate balance allows multitudes of life forms to exist. This ancestor also reminds, of us, reminds us of his presence when wind appears. Whether it's a gentle breeze on a warm summer day that cools and caresses the skin or an unexpected and powerful gust that nearly knocks you over, the greater intensities of this movement can show up as powerful hurricanes or tornadoes, stark reminders of the extraordinary power of this ancestral being. So this is what the card, or this is what your ancestors are wanting you to hear through me drawing this card. It says, no matter what circumstance you find yourself in, pay attention to your breathing. You tend to habitually have, a, have very shallow breaths, which restricts the flow of air in and out of your lungs and in turn causes your body to tense up. This can create a holding pattern with your muscles as if you're in survival mode preparing for fight or flight. Whenever you become aware of this tension, pause, take a few slow, deep breaths, and let your lungs and body absorb the oxygen that the plant and tree people offer to you in this remarkable exchange. It is, it is a time for you to be especially attentive to your breathing, as it will be the simplest way to manage the stressful circumstances you find yourself in at present. Step out of your usual routines for a while and allow a deeper, slower breathing to bring you to full presence. Allow this ancestor to remind you, perhaps through a gentle breeze, to breathe deeply and slowly. Okay? So again, whoever is watching this, you need to do some breath work. Okay? Or I would definitely recommend doing breath work. And not because, like, I'm not saying, like, you need any breath work. Not like that. <laughs> I'm saying that breath work will help you. Okay? It will help you move forward here in this strange thing that we call life and it will help you keep your emotions under control while doing so okay which is something that we all need to do a lot of people like to blame other people for how they feel like oh well you made me mad you made me upset you made me sad no something i did may have caused you to be sad but that is not me doing it to you you're the one that is in control of your emotions just like if something does this and i get pissed off about it that is up to me to control that emotion it's not me to come to that person like you made me pissed off no, that person may have done something and it caused you to be pissed off, but it is not that person that made you anything, okay? That person didn't do anything <laughs> to make you pissed off in this type of way. And even if they did, it is still up to you to control that emotion. It is not up to this person. If I went to everybody that pissed me off every single time and told them that it was up to them to control my anger, <laughs> how is that supposed to work, all right? You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna work. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Jump inside my body real quick? Alright, well let me just push your consciousness to the side really quick. I'll just hop up in there and just control your anger for you real quick. That ain't how that works. You gotta control your anger, okay? Aries, this is gonna be the end of your reading. I hope this message resonated. I hope this message resonated with someone out here. If it did, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know it resonated. That is very important for me as well. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward, and as always, love yourself first.